This is a quick tutorial on using DeepZoom nautical charts. The lat long of the center of the screen is always shown in the upper left hand corner. You can get some more real estate on the screen by showing and hiding that if you wish. And the GPS symbol is used to force the GPS position to move to the center of the screen. So turning that on moves us to where the boat currently is and if we anytime we want to pan and scroll around the map we can do so and just click the GPS button again to move back to the center. Markers are push pins that you can put on the chart. It records information like the latitude and longitude, the date and time, notes, and can have attributes like color. To change the color, just click the color button. To reposition a marker, just click the reposition button and slide it around. Or you can delete a particular marker. To add a marker, select the marker or toolbar. Then you can say new. And if you want to clear all markers, push the clear all button. The route tool is used to pre-plan your trip. Start a new route and just roughly click the points where you're planning on traveling. Here from Seattle to Port Townsend. Then click done and now you can edit those points to more accurately position them. So in this case we will move that guy there. If you want to add a new point, just go to the center and you can reposition any of the points. You also get the distance of each leg and the angle of each leg of the route. To delete a route, expand the toolbar and just clear it. Routes are calculated using great circle mathematics. And so if we create a very long distance route here from Cape Flattery to the end of the Aleutians, you'll notice that it's curved. If we then uh, edit the center point, add a new point, each of the legs becomes a separate great circle route. And if you delete that center point, then we go back to the original. Tracking lets you show a breadcrumb trail of where you've been. You can enable and disable tracking and see your total track length and clear a track. Tides toolbar lets you animate tides and currents. And so here for the 15th of May 2013, uh, we can see the progress of the tides flowing through Admiralty Inlet. Uh, you can click on a particular station. The brown boxes are tide stations and the arrows are uh, current stations. Uh, the yellow is an ebb tide and green is a flood tide. Uh, if you expand the toolbar you can select the date and the duration uh, you want the animation to run and the speed at which you want the animation to run including one second per second and so this would be real-time uh, animation if we say now it would be real-time animation uh, clicking the graph button brings up a graph of the flow uh, the details for the day, minima and maxima for the month. The layers toolbar lets you change the opacity of the chart layer uh, from completely transparent to semi-transparent. And you can also change the underlying uh, type of imagery. The Trips toolbar lets you store and recall all settings, including markers, routes, and tracks. 
So here we've saved all settings for Desolation Sound. We could open that. Uh, trip to New Zealand, we could open that or delete it. 